Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Hi, I'm Ben Brayton Diaz, and this is Word Association. The best South American Premier League footballer. I'm going to go with Luis Diaz from Liverpool. I just think like uh, watching him play is unbelievable. Uh, the goals he scores and the, the ability he has uh, on and off the ball. So yeah. And the best South American ever. That's a tough one because I'm I'm still quite young, but but yeah, like you said, Edison's Edison what a great keeper he is. You know, uh, for Brazil he's he's really good. Also a few Chileans like Alexis Sanchez being in the Premier League, so. Uh, He's, he's up there for me as well. Chile. For me, uh, Chile, would, one word would be honour. Just, uh, just the honour of playing for the country, you know, for my mum's side of the family and also all my family, you know, it's, um, it's important for them and to play for such a big country full of big players and, uh, yeah, it's just a massive honour for me to put the shirt on and, uh, and, and do as best as I can for the, for the country. What's your best memory playing for Chile? I'd say my best memory is obviously scoring a goal, my, my first one, but the one that I liked the best was when I scored a goal against uh, Argentina. For me, that was um, a great moment for myself and also for my, for my family. You know, like I said, going back to the word, it's a massive honour to put that shirt on and uh, you know, it makes everyone, all my family proud, so uh, it's yeah. And how's your Spanish coming along? It's okay, but obviously when I was in, in Villarreal, it was, it was getting better. Uh, back to England now, trying to keep on the lessons and, and to keep, uh, keep tidying up a little bit for when I go uh, back over to Chile. The Copa America. I've played in it once before in COVID. So it wasn't the, the best tournament because obviously no fans there, but uh, it was a great experience. But my one word to, to summarise a Cup of America would be, would be amazing. That's the opportunity to, to play in such a great tournament with, with, uh, with great players in, in the Chilean national team and also against some unbelievable players. Yeah, never did I think I'd be playing for Chile in a Cup of America. So uh, the last time I played in it was, was unreal. Obviously no fans, but um, it was still unbelievable uh, to be a part of such a tournament. And then in the summer, we've, we've got a Cup of America in the, in the States. So it should be a great experience to, to, to hopefully be a part of that group. That'll be, that'll be really fun. Toughest opponent. Toughest opponent. I could say stuff when I've come off the bench and stuff like that, but from starting, I'm going to go from, from when I was starting. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, Martinez at, at Manchester United. Uh, obviously, he plays for Argentina. Yeah, really, really tough opponent. You know, we're aggressive. Uh, knows the game quite well. Lats get stuck in, so it was a, it was a tough day. Uh, but no, I, I felt like he was he was really good on, on the day. And uh, and yeah, I think he's a, he's a great player. As you can see, playing for Manchester United and doing well. Uh, so yeah. If it wasn't just somebody you've played against, but anyone you've shared the pitch with, who who would you put as your answer? The toughest opponent. Well, I've I've trained with this with this person a lot of times. Uh, Gary Medell uh, for the Chilean national team. You know, uh, we all know what a, a good player he is, and also in training and games, he, he he trains how he plays, 100%. Uh, likes to get stuck in, aggressive. Uh, it's really tough to play against someone like that. You know, so definitely, yeah, he, he loves to get a get a foot in and, and make it difficult for the for the attackers. Atmosphere. My answer is uh, Bramall Lane. I've only been here for four weeks, uh, played a few games there, but it's, it's been amazing, you know, and I've played against Sheffield United a few times in my career. Uh, once last season in the FA Cup and the, the atmosphere, every time i played here has been, has been unbelievable. The fans get behind the team, they love, they love football, so it's, it's always great to play in front of the, the Sheffield United fans. Joker, uh, my is uh, Ollie McBurney. I've played against Ollie a few times, you know, on the pitch. He's a tough customer, you know, for all the defenders. Um, he's a lad, you know, around the training ground. He gets them with everyone, uh, makes people feel welcome. And yeah, and a, and a, and a funny guy, so, uh, so yeah. Championship. A one word for the championship would be, would be hard. Uh, that sounds a bit weird, but um, it's just so many games in, in, a, in a season. It's getting better and better, the, the standard of the, of the championship. And I loved every minute of uh, playing at Blackburn last season. I would just say it's difficult, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, physicality, so it's, uh, it's different to, to some leagues, yeah. And um, what do you think are some of the biggest strengths to your game that you've gotten from playing in the championship? Like the understanding, like how to, the little bits that goes with football, that like understanding about game management and stuff like that, and the, the little bits that, that come with football, and also the physical demand that has. So we're definitely over the past few years playing for, for Blackburn Rovers in the championship, it's definitely, uh, taught me a lot about myself, you know, so, uh, but I've loved every minute in it, playing it for Blackburn and Championship. There's one week you can beat a top team and then next week you're, you're losing, you know, it's, a, it's an up and down league and that's why everyone loves it, you know. Idol. My idol is uh, Wayne Rooney. For me, just 
yeah, going back when I was young, you know, I used to, to love watching Man United. And for me, he was the, the, the pinnacle of it at Manchester United, the way he plays football, uh, how aggressive he was and the goal scorer. Um, love watching him play. Yeah, just a great player. Best dressed. It's difficult because I've not been on a night out with the boys yet. I've only seen like, seen, seen like track suits and stuff like that. Anyone that rocks up to training, kind of looking kind of, kind of suave? Yeah. My one would be uh, Dave, uh, Tom Davis. He wears some unusual stuff sometimes, but he can pull it off, you know. He's, uh, he always looks apart, sets his own fashion, really. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's up there for, for the best dress for me, even though some people might think he's the worst dress for me because it's a bit different. It's, it's quite cool. Do you think his fashion sense matches his personality? Yeah, definitely. You know, he's a great personality, you know. I've known uh, Tom Davis before this as well. Uh, he's a great, a great lad and um, a, funny, a funny guy as well. So he's, uh, no, he's, a, he's a great lad to be around and, uh, and yeah, a great personality. Chris Wilder. My one word for Chris Wilder would be uh, passion. Obviously, we know Chris is a, is a Sheffield United um, a fan. And yeah, since I've been in the club, I've been here for three or four weeks now. And, uh, and the gaffer's been brilliant towards me and his passion for the, for the game, to, to win football games, the way he gets around the boys and the way he motivates us for the, for the, for the match days and stuff like this, I think he's is, is been unbelievable and uh, I'm very happy to, uh, to be here and um, he's been great for me so far and um, that was a really nice, really nice person. But on a match day, he gets, he gets around the people, real passion, motivator, so, so yeah.